In that though, like what are some things that you showed up every day and you like and was working to be consistent at just maybe even for the long term, the big the big picture of helping your students evolve? I think like some of the things that I, I wanted to be consistent in is just recognizing kids where they are, who they are, um, relationships or you may hear that and it may be cliche, like building relationship with students has the greatest impact on their learning than anything else. Um, and, and so being intentional about getting to know them, what do they like, what, who their family are, what are they doing, you know, are they working outside of school, things like that. Um, I think I was intentional about that each day. Um, talking to them outside of the door, going to their events, seeing them outside of school. And, and then that stuff pays off later because you do have relationship for them. It wasn't just a, a body and a desk, you know. It was a kid that I wanted to invest in, that I wanted what's best for them and, and them to grow up well. And, um, so I think that would, that would be probably one yeah. of the things that I tried to remain consistent in is just showing up, yeah. being there. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you talking about the outside of the, the the classroom at the door. I like the way that you said that. And when I think about at the door, is that just greeting them when they're coming in, or do yeah. you literally mean out at the door, meaning like being involved in their activities and things like that? I mean, when I say at the door, like I mean being out in the hallways and and being there greeting them yeah. for sure. I mean, if if you're a teacher um, in a classroom and you're not welcoming your kids coming in how are they you know how are they going to feel like it's a safe place mm -hmm. or something they that oh you know if the teacher's out there high-fiving or shaking hands or whatever else as they come in and they're excited that they're there those kids are going to be excited to be in mm -hmm. your classroom um so yeah I, I think that that's that's an important thing in that building relationships and the students start getting comfortable with you how does that impact their learning and you know I think that kids, if they trust you as a teacher or trust you as an adult, they're going to work harder for you. Um, they, they're going to put out more effort. And, and so I taught science, and if that's you know, them trusting me, even if they may not understand it, um, they'll put out a little bit more effort for those kind of people. It may not come to them easily, or they may not understand it, but they're going to put in work for you. Um, you know, I was also a coach there and, and I wasn't like the yelling down people's throats kind of coach I was the I want to build a relationship with you and, and have my players work hard for me because they didn't want to disappoint me and I think that kind of goes back to the classroom a little bit um, building those relationships that you don't want to disappoint somebody that you have a relationship with as a teacher I mean I think that's kind of cool to hear you say hey I was trying to go to some of their their activities was that something that you saw other teachers do or what what made you recognize like this is probably important that I do this? I think probably I can't remember who maybe specifically said it, but I think that somebody has, you know, talked about that early on. Like, hey, let's if you want these kids to respond to you and respect you at whatever respect means. Um, you're going to have to get to know them outside of the classroom. And, and, you know, that's for me, when I was teaching, that was the fun part of education in school is going to those games or the band concerts or the drama production or whatever it is. Like, I mean, my classroom was fun. I taught environmental science. I thought it was kind of fun. Did so you like have those, a python? That's the question. I didn't. I didn't have any. <laughs> I didn't have any live animals. <laughs> um, but I think the outside stuff made my job fun. Um, it, that was where I didn't have to stress out. That's where I could just relax and stuff. So, um, yeah. Going to those activities and, and, and things of that nature. I know that uh, parental involvement is is important. In, in doing that, showing up to those activities, did that help with that? Or did you not see any real return as far as the parent, parent parents being more involved? As far as uh, my relationship with parents? Yeah, like yeah. Going, to, going to activities, it, it may seem as though that may kind of help you build relationships. Absolutely, yeah. Beyond the classroom, even with the parents, which may help them be more involved. I don't know if you just... I, I think that's a 
a great point, you know. You're not only going there to see the kids perform or see the kids, you know, play that sport, but you're going to run into parents there. They're going to see that you're investing more time in your kid. They're going to trust you more in the classroom. And, and then when you do have questions or need something in the classroom or, hey, you know, I'm seeing this in your student, it's an easier conversation with that parent. So um, I think that that you, you talked about community earlier and going out into the community and not just games and things like I would find out where our kids worked and go to their jobs, yeah. you know, like some of the kids working at McDonald's, let's swing by there because yeah. you're going to see some of your students or, you know, somebody's family owns a restaurant. Let's go over to that restaurant. And then you start getting to know those families and things too. So, um, yeah, I think that's super important to get out and see the kids, but also meet parents that way. Yeah, no, that's good. How did you kind of gauge success? What are some other things that you looked for as far as uh, gauging success for your students? I think like students are going to have a wide range of what success is. Um, as far as me gauging what that success was, I think if the student is trying new things um, and trying to push themselves, see what they can do better and better and better, um, striving to get better at something, that's what makes them successful. Uh, so I would encourage in my classroom them to try things or let's do this project or push yourself a little bit harder on this. Um, things that you they may not have confidence in themselves. Um, and so that when they do become adults and they can contribute to a, a community somewhere and you know try some things, be okay with failing and, and getting back up from it. 